Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2 today with the Kingdom of Steel tournament. We're going to be seeing Once a Noob versus Virion. Let's get to the decks. And here we are now with Virion's deck choosing Night Guard Cavalieri. So it does seem like he's not afraid of Once a Noob. But then again, they are playing on Cell. So this is actually a very good choice. And this is why I love these tournament and and the rules of the tournament too which makes for such varied division to be seen being played all right so we're going to be going with some osna saperi and sniperi in a face double star boat the snipers will be will have four of them the saperi will have six of them these are excellent choice because they come in fast transport although i kind of wonder why he wouldn't take either the 12.7 or even the B810. Of course, the uh, Ford GPA goes at 100 kilometers an hour, and this is kind of the uh, the good stuff about them. But why wouldn't he take at least one card? I don't know. Maybe the Saperi should have come in with the B820. Um, you know, me, I love... Let's... I love these BA-20s, and especially on map like Cell, they can do, well, not a lot of damage, but they can certainly hold their own against infantry at, at a fair distance. And so what's important is that, you know, you place them in the light forest, they can see the enemy infantry coming, they can shoot at them as well. It's a plus, and they cannot be shot back. I love to use these armored card when the enemy has a... Um, infantry heavy division um, but he didn't take them and I'm a little bit bummed about that but what can you do then he's got the T70 Razvedka three of them two star and the T3476 Razvedka two of them two star this is a very very good choice that he's making here um, the T70 Razvedkas are excellent they're well they're, they're I mean I was going to say they're fast. They're not that fast, but they're still pretty fast. They can turn the turret pretty quick. They're just overall pretty great. And two star means they will be able to recon better. I know that's the case with infantry. I'm not sure 100% if that's the case with um, with the tanks, but, but I can only assume so. So anyway... Um, then he's going with the Kaz Razvedka. These guys have 8 PPSH. I'm thinking he's going to use them for fighting purposes. Uh, otherwise, he would have just taken the Dozer. And another missed opportunity here is to take the Dozer with the BA-20. Wow. Or, yeah, no. They can only come with the BA-20. So, that would have been really cool as well. But it looks like he doesn't think he needs recon on cell, which is a good observation. Um, but I, I guess recon is always good to have, but he doesn't think so. So anyway, let's go out of here. Then we've got, you know, a regular deck for Night Guard. You've got 137 infantry unit. He's playing on a V for victory, I just noticed. He's going with the Kazaki PPSH. And then some Kazaki as well. Kazakis, I mean, these infantries are not the greatest, okay? They they do good in CQC. Um, but other than that, they're not the greatest. So anyway, Kazaki, he's going with Osnaz Bazooka. Uh, they're coming in for GPA as well. He's going with the Osnaz Kamrati as well, the leaders. Saperi's also one star because they have the SVT-40. So they're a good choice to take in one star. And then in B-Face, he's going... Oh, by the way, that is not a lot of infantry for a V for Victory deck. I'm thinking he's going to use maybe more of his support weapon, but we'll see during the game. Uh, Kazaki PPSH again in B. Um, is that the same thing? Yeah, it's the same thing. Osnaz again with the Bazookas. Kazaki SVT. And then in C-Face, we're going with two cards of Kazaki. The Kazaki Mozenegan and the Kazaki SVT. So basically he's taken everything he could except for the Saperi PPSH and he's only got one uh, leader. Over in the tank force we're going to start the game with the Valentine 9. I love to use these guys. Oh you can only... 
Well, that explains it. You can only get them in, in, in A phase. All right. So, yeah. Valentine, one star. Good choice. Amchaz, one star in A phase as well. It is a good choice. Then he's going with the T3476. One star. I would have liked them to be two star, but whatever. And then B phase again is going with more Amcha. Now, can he not take... Oh, he cannot take C phase tank. I think... Um, well, he's definitely going with the T34 for the long game, but I think maybe uh, I don't know. It's a hard, hard choices to be made here. But overall, I think I think overall is great. Then he's going with the Ognomichiki, the Maxim machine gun. These guys have eight of them. It's pretty great. And in B, they have 16, and in C, they have 24. Now, I I would have loved to see him play with a lot of machine gun. Plus the maximum machine guns are pretty great on sell because they have 1000 meter range and they do have a lot of suppress. So they, you know, they do a good job. OB25 coming in one star, which is strange, but anyway. And for GPA also for the supplies rather than these guys. They have the same amount overall. It's the same amount of supplies, except you pay less with these guys. You also got a little bit less. Um, he's going with the M42, 45 mil, and the ZIS-2 in B face, which is great. The ZIS-3 could have been good too. Um, they do have HE and APCR close distance, so yeah, it could have been good. But anyway, these ZIS-2s are absolutely destructive. Um, this is a good choice. And he's also going with 37 mil in A face, one star. And then he's going with more 37 mil, one star. So no Zenart. Artillery, 122, 76, and 122 again in C phase. These guys are coming in with the supply truck, and these others are not. It's a strange choice to have these this tree like that, artillery. Um, maybe he's using them for their smoke ability. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. May I'm thinking the SU-76 would have been better um, as they can, you know, move around and all that. Um, I, I find I find this choice strange to have the Zist trees, really. Um, then he's going with the LA-7. These guys are very good. TU-2S in A-Face and another card of TU-2S in A-Face with 9... 100 kilogram bombs and then in C face he's going with the TU2S who has 1k bomb each Honestly, I'm not really seeing the V for victory here We don't have that much unit in C face and we don't have that much in A face as well there's a lot in B face where his income will be at, at the less. Of course, he cannot take tanks in C face. So, I mean, that explains this. Um, but, yeah. And maybe he took these trees because the income will be less. This is something I do when I play V for victory. I take expensive stuff in A and C. And then I'll take the least, uh, the least expensive stuff in B face. But, anyway, let's go take a look at Want Some Noob. And he's going with four Munte on a Vanguard income. Wow, this is going to hurt, I I think. And you know what? It would have been great to have those BA those BA ten because four Munte is a infantry division. It's an excellent division. I love four Munte. I don't. I hate playing against it because there's so many snipers, and this is exactly what one some noob is going to be doing. He's going to cheese the crap out of the snipers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine team of two snipers with three MP41, no less. So these guys can do a lot of damage. They have recon and radio. In B face, we're going with more snipers, and we're also going with the SKFZ 250. Nine. Wow. All right. Dini Titi Nuti in A phase. These guys are excellent CQC. I mean, they have two Molotov cocktails, so that makes them excellent by myself. <laughs> okay, by me. Uh, VM Pioneer also are 
okay i guess um ltvm has the sniper and the bazooka which makes them some of the best you know leaders in the game vanatori di monte are excellent with two mg34 and eight zb24 um vanatori di monte panzer Faust are coming in at four at two star i'm sorry at two star and that's a strange choice because he do he does have leader but anyway vm panari assault sorry i had to yawn vm pioneer assaults are just a regular flamers dini tutti again these guys are going to be great uh ltvm and then in b face he's got more vanatori di monte he's going really bold there not going with anything in c face except for panzer force um then he's getting panzer force in b face more in leader and then in C face as well not going with the R35 I don't think he needs to either uh, and they only got one machine gun I mean it's a, it's a very cheap infantry support so I would say why not but it it, it, it gets expensive um, flamers Hotchkiss Breda AC47 this is the trifecta of Formunte the commander and supplies then we're going with the ac 75 mil these guys have an enormous amount of round per minute the heat round goes at 12 they all go at 12 12 round per minute for ap and he is excellent um wait these guys have 12 rounds as well it's the pack 40 that has 10 rounds um, but yeah, these guys can do a lot of damage. Um, I always see them. I'm surprised by the fact that the 50 mil is, is also 12 round plus 2 because he's 1 star. Uh, because I always see these AC 75 shoot so much stuff that they, they end up killing something just by shooting so much at it. And um, yeah, anyway. So maybe it's just my, my, my 75 mil... PTSD because I fought against these and I've died against these. Vanatori Di Cari coming in with the TNT and Panzer Shrek. Good choice. 50 mil, always a good choice. Van more Vanatori Di Cari in B face and some pack 40 in B face as well. He's not going with these little things. Could have been useful maybe. And uh, he's not going with the martyrs as well. 20 mil can always be good. ACA 75 mil can also be good even if attack power doesn't think so don't know if you've seen his shorts um, but yeah anyway and then the mobile wagon in B phase always good in the air department we're going with Stukas the duck for recon plus he can defend himself very well the IAR 81 C VB these are most excellent fighters and fight well fighter bombers basically they are very, very good. What is this? Uh, that's weird. Is that where he shoots? No, he's got both machine guns in the wings. I wonder what that is. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, these guys, they, they actually, they surprise. They're surprising. All right. And then the duck in A face also. So every, all the air force is coming in a face all right this is going to be this oh he's not going with the jrs and these guys well there's not a lot of them but they they do have napalm bombs which are cool and these guys have 20 250 pound bombs so these guys are usually an absolute must um yeah all right let's get into the battle Alright everyone, welcome to the game. And um, 
the snipers are already doing a lot of work here. Maxim machine gun, sni uh, yeah, snipers again. Snipers on both sides are taking effect here. Kazaki are coming in over here. They're, they will be overwhelmed. These guys are being shot right in the open. Over here, we're having the Oznas being uh, taken down by the, uh, the Flamer here. Snipers doing a lot of work here too. There you go. Unloads these guys. And now they will die from the, the snipers. They're being they're going on the side. It looks like these guys are holding on. T70 Razvedka coming in. People coming in to the middle as well. And and there you go. The forces here have to retreat. By the way, guys, everyone, I am starting an Axis and Allies campaign where the Germans will be invading the Soviet. This is multiplayer. Uh, if you want to participate and be either a German or Soviet player, uh, basically you will be playing with a team. Everyone can play at any time. This is made to make sure that no matter the schedule or the time zone, battles can keep going on. Each time uh, the players win on a map, they move forward to another map. The maps are played alphabetically and the invaders, the German, will start on... A select map uh, which is on Orsha East their capital will be Bobar and uh, the defenders the Soviets capital will be Zbuchin and the big cities like Lenina and Tannenberg will be fought on a breakthrough game and uh, anyway, there, there, there's a bunch of rules there. Uh, if you want to take a look at that, ask me in the YouTube comments or go on Reddit or on Steam. I made the announcement there as well. Um, and I think it's going to be very nice. There will be no first SSB. And basically, I'm trying to do that for a revival of Steel Division 2. I know we're all tired of fighting these goddamn American troops and, and super-powered British troops. So this is basically just the, the Germans versus the Soviets with their puppet states. And um, There is some special rules, like if you play... You can only play the Polish um, division once you've reached a certain city, or you can only play the security German division if you have went past uh, another city. So there's a few things like that. And you can bled the enemy dry, so every, every, uh, what what is the rule here? Blood dry. Wait for me for a second. Blood dry. Every, each fort battle, if the defenders win, one random player from the invading force will be eliminated. But each fort consecutive victory for the invaders, they can get resupplied by two players. So there is many way to win or lose this campaign. Well, there's there's two. <laughs> Either you get to the enemy's capital or you bleed them dry if you can. A lot of airplay from both players. We can see the duck killed the T-70, the TU-2S over here. Oh, okay, they were shooting at the 75 mil. They are getting shot at by 2 star 20 mil and the ACA 75 mil. But uh, this is not doing a lot over here. Oh, the Stuka just landed down on who? On these guys over here. Valentine 9 in position. Kazaki defending. There's a sniper. There's not a lot of tanks from anyone. So these Valentine 9s are not uh, in their element. Pioneer taking position don't want to go they don't want to go into the forest here pioneer vanatori di monte are going to capture this flag which the hotkiss also coming into the wood uh once a noob is really really going strong here he this is his only chance really after that he's oh, well no that's not true in b face is going to be pretty equal as well um in fact, in B face is going to be where he needs to attack. It's not every day you see Vanguard versus VFV. It's confusing. <laughs> Alright. Pack 50 mil coming in here. Probably, maybe, I don't know. There's a lot of AT coming in, but there's not a lot of uh, tanks from the enemy, if at all. Like, there's two of them over here. And uh, once a noob has... About none. 
that's the thing from playing for Muntes, you don't have tanks, except for the little ones. But I feel like the little ones would have been really useful in this um, in this game here. Alright, Vanatoi de Monte taking care of the Saperi, of course, at that range. OB25 S uh, OB25 will start shooting at the Vanatoi de Carré. Same thing with the snipers here. He's gonna fall back. These guys only have one sniper though, so nothing to compare against the Vanatori Cercetari. Vanatori Cercetari, I think that's how it's pronounced, I'm not sure. Two more Vanatori Cercetari coming in. Ditti Nuti also coming in into the woods. Uh, once Noob really wants to consolidate this position, if he does, it will give him an easy grab at this, because then he can go into the forest and, 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 and threaten this very important road here so the enemy will have to actually take care of that threat valentine 9 shooting the vm pioneer t70 razvedka coming in as well tu2s also coming and there you go this is gonna hurt well it didn't hurt that bad actually but the Kazuki Kazaki are now moving in, but unfortunately for them, there is a sniper here, and um, yeah, just the sniper is going to be enough to put these guys at ease, I do believe. Three star Vanatori di Monte, also very hard. Oh, there you go. That's the he's shooting. He's shooting very fast, and there you go, dead. Diti Nuti, Pioneer are waiting for I don't know reinforcement, I guess. Uh, the 60 mil, instead of helping these guys out, will go for the Kazaki PPSH. Alright, and you know what, guys? I forgot. I always forget, but I do have a silent keyboard. And uh, every time I cast a game, I'm, I tell myself, oh, I'm going to take the silent keyboard so you don't hear the mechanical behind. And I just always, always forget. But here we are now, and I've just taken it. There's honestly, there's there's nothing, there's nothing he can do here against these Vanatori. Oh boy, they were three star. They're going to be three star again soon. There's nothing he can do there. Um, the twenty mil coming in for over here. I'm surprised he's not going where there's a leader because otherwise, it is true that they're not that good. Um, but it, in a big number, they can do a lot of damage. And now we see there's another one coming here. So that's going to be one, two, three, plus the ACA 75 mil. So the advantage here... Oh, that is close. So the advantage here is that a plane can go in any direction. He'll be suppressed. If he goes for the middle, where the fight is here currently, so if it, planes are more likely to come in here, then he'll be swamped by three, 20 mil, Two AC 75 mil, and that's when there's a real possibility at killing troops. It's called the kill zone, the AA kill zone. And this is great when when the battle happens in one place. Um, it's not so great if the enemy goes on the flank like that. LA7 coming in for the 50 mil. He will turn on the right side now. Obviously, he's not going to die from the 75 mil alone. There's, oh, I thought it was another 20 mil. It isn't. Uh, Pioneer coming in over here. Nice smoke by Wantsome Noob. Really nice. Look at that. He's just filled the area entirely with smoke. This is what you want to do before advancing. Sometimes you see some smoke plays and there's not a lot. Oh, but, oh my lord. They are, I think they are disappearing. But yeah, sometimes there's not a lot of smoke and players go through anyway. And they die because the enemy... Oh, there you go. Well, he went for this. He's he's not... Yeah, he's not dying from this. Far from it. Nice shot. Did kill some of his units, though. 
There you go. These guys made it. AC-75 mil will start shooting a lot of rounds. Stukas being shot at by that 37 mil. And the T-34 dies. And this guy will keep shooting HE. IAR-81C being shot by the ZIS-12. The ZIS-12 is powerful. Look, this guy is dying. <laughs> there you go. He's dead. Uh, you got to be really careful with that. I would probably keep them for the flank because now clearly the middle has a lot there. 37 mil and 25 mil is powerful. TU-2 coming in the middle will die. Will he die? I think he will because he's being shot by literally everyone. Oh my lord, he won't. He, he got lucky. He got lucky. <laughs> there you go. He's pluming now. But, you know, still far from dead. He's going to need to put some veterancy on these 20 mils. Get them to two star at least each. As long with the ACA. Now he's moving them a little bit. Just to make sure, I guess, he doesn't get countered too bad. Another will survive the day. Yeah, he needs more. He needs more. He needs veterancy. Let's go. I want to see that. More smoke has been put here. One of the uh, Pioneeri died. The other is still alive. He's using his Pioneeri for line. Well, I guess he could start shooting and then retreat into the woods. Already the 122 mil. Has been shooting quite a bit now. We're seeing some Razvedka coming in. Flamers going to go for that. They pretty much got the job done for them. But there is massive reinforcement coming in. Maxim machine gun with the Kazaki is going to push back the Vanatori di Mute. And there you go. One down. There's a Hotchkiss here. SGFZ 259 coming in. Panzer IV with the leadership. There you go. Going to boost these 20 mil. He knows he needs to. Lots of 60 mil. Going for what? Sm more smoke? Wow, they're shooting far. Th what are they shooting at? Clearly there was something. There's none anymore. Pack 40 will definitely kill that uh, Razvedka, but he's doing some good shot. My god, he has forgotten the APCR. What a noob. This one's some noob. There you go. Armor cracked. Oh, nice shot from the Vanatori, the Kare, hiding in the smoke. Oh, my lord. Want some noob. He's the best. <laughs> Uh, but there you go. Now the Kazaki PPSH are just literally taking care of everything. I'm sure they sh they could just swamp in. Uh, the 20 mil is almost out of ammo already. These guys only have 540 rounds. So, yeah, that's not a lot. These guys stand no chance here against the recon. Over here, we're still bombarding the area with uh, 60 mils or whatever. Oh, there you go. 100 mil. Al already almost out of ammo, this one. And they have 40. So, yeah, these guys has been shooting for a while. Once a noob is really taking position here with his three-star units, one of the Vanatori Cercetari will die from the... For for well, sorry. for From the 45 mil... And the lack of a CQC is really hurting him here. But if he stays in the open like that, he'll definitely have a lot of chances. Another pack 40 is coming in as one died. No, this one survived. He's just moving away. Uh, he's moved the Panzer IV. Rather than going here, he's going to go here and help these VM Pioneeri to make a statement. This 12 also almost out of ammo. Emcha starts shooting at the Pioneer. 
Kazaki PPSH coming in here with some Kazaki infantry. Take a look at these guys. Bad, they're not that pretty. All right. 132 mil, still here with lots of shells. Over here, we're making a statement with these 259 Vanatori moving in the open. Will most likely destroy these Kazaki because, well, there you go. 259, will he survive? I think he will. Bounce. And he's showing his side too. Oh, man. Like, that's 10 millimeter. He couldn't do that? It's funny. It's funny. But that, that's how it is. These guns, they're not that great. They're not that guy. They're not that guy. Alright, Panzer IV being shot at by the Hemcha. He should win this technically, especially he's got the Pack 40 and the 75 mil on his side. Bouncing, and there you go, dies. The Duck gets the Valentine. LA7 coming in for the Duck. Doesn't get behind. He will try to come over here where his AA is instead of going that way, which is what he wants to do. And there you go. He will. He's still. He, oh my lord. He's turning. He's turning. F he's trying to maneuver out of there. And there you go. Now he's getting inside the uh, the flak. These guys have no more ammo. There is a mobile wagon though. So that's going to do a lot of damage. This guy is going down. Look at him. No way. And. Boom. There you go. LA7. Or uh, LA-5, I don't remember. Alright, Bumper coming in here. Mortar 60 mil, helping out these guys. But the DT Nuti are really good. I wish to see more coming in over here. Plane will definitely survive that, there's no question asked here. Only the Vanatoi di Munte was uh, hit. SDKZ coming in here. This one already almost out of APHE. Like, this is just the amount of shells they've been shooting. They only have 100, but... Jeez. They have 200 in total, because it's the same gun. More leaders coming in. Again, leaders, Vanatoi di Munte, Panzer IV. We're not seeing a lot of snipers anymore except for the um, the leaders and those that were here in phase A. There's a lot of snipers in here. But overall, no more reinforcement of snipers. Look at that. Damn. Out of Molotov cocktail. Would be worth it to have a supply here and <laughs> get them to resupply the, the Molotov cocktail. Once a noob is not manually targeting these planes, so one will go away. And I believe this one will go away too. Elron damage. Elron? Is that an English word? Oh, and there you go. It actually goes down thanks to the mobile wagon. 75 mil almost already out of ammo. Jeez, he had 50. Yep, these guys are using their weapon to uh, the max proficiency as best they can. All right, finally, 4 GPA is not coming in for the 122 mil, but uh, it's really, it's here we need supply. There you go. Supply coming in for that AC-75. Will come in here. Could be worth Well, maybe not because now he's so, such low health. It would be cool if you could resupply your infantry as well, uh, but this is not that type of game. Emcha will kill the LTVM most likely. Wow. Panzer IV will get will have a word. Penetrated on the first shot. Sherman bouncing. Panzer IV destroys it. There you go. IAR 81C coming in for the MCHAS with the Stukas. And there you go. He dies from the Panzer IV in the end. There's a 37 mil here with a lot of ammo. The Zist 
two died, I think, here. Yeah, died here. From the Panzer IV, no doubt, or a uh, Pack 40. Oh, he's he's got highs on that road. And this is a very dangerous situation. If there was a leader here... Oh, there is a leader. That's why he was one star. Never mind me. Still struggling here, but it's only because he's not investing that much. But he can't really invest that much in here while he's trying to fight all over here. 15-9-4, once a noob. SGFZ, of course, both dies to the T-34-79. The Valentine is being called, but there's no real reason to because he's only facing Panzer IV. But in this game, the Valentine 9 are the heavy tank. You know, they the, the Panzer IV cannot match this power. He's he, they, they have 115 mil penetration, 45% accuracy. How much do these guys have? 40% plus there's two star though. This one's only one star. Um, but this still, overall, they got better accuracy. They don't have better armor, but it only takes one or two shots to kill the Panzer IV. T-34 dies. He's calling more. Valentine 9 coming in. They are pretty slow though. Um, 24 kilometers an hour. It's like Churchill speed. It's not that bad. A lot of people complain about the um, the Churchill speed you'll see on the forums like oh, Churchill will, will arrive by phase B if you call in phase A you know like you, you with the Churchill and and the Valentine you've got to you've got to check ahead you know and make sure oh Valentine kills the pack 40 ouch yeah you've got to make sure to check ahead and and call them beforehand and then and then you're good All right, these Pioneer are still going on. This guy is almost out of uh, machine gun ammo. The supply did not go for the 20 mil in the end, nor for <laughs> 75 mil. He's just there. He's doing nothing. That's um, strange. Anyway. These guys are now out of action. 59 for Verizon as we're um, getting late in the game. It doesn't look like he's got that. I think they will survive now since they're a little bit all over the place. Bombs being dropped here does nothing. There's another TU2 coming in for that Vanatoi di Monte. Vato Edicari are being shot at by a lot of people. There you go. TU2 drops his bombs. You can see it here. It's Oh, it's the 1K one. This will do some damage. Ooh. Wow. That hit hard. If this guy is alive. These two. The two closest are alive. The other one's just got a bunch of shrapnels and, and, and they got their lungs blasted off from the airwaves all right Panzer IV finally dies to who does this too I believe these guys are being shot at and there you go one shell kills both of them there's only one remaining OB 100 mil still no move here from anyone um, we're going strong in the middle still with one some noob and we've let go a little bit of the flank there. 1410 for one some noob. Is this two being shot at by the pack 40 pack 40 about to go out of HE shells. Will he be able to kill that this two? I don't think so, but maybe we'll see. No. One point fifty two damage. Oh no, that pioneer so once some noob doesn't see it. Oh there you go, he's gonna put some smoke maybe. Oh no, they're just starting to fire. They'll kill the Kazaki, there you go. 
Will he stop shooting? Yeah, no, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. There you go. Okay, Valentine dead by pack 40. The, the two other Valentines are finally here. Another one, 20 mil, at the same in the same area, plus a third one. Amcha did nothing the entire game. They uh, they've been busy fighting other tanks, and so as a result, they died. Um, they should have really escaped fighting the Panzer IV. I don't know. I guess he's desperate to take them out, but still. Kazaki will take out. No, he unloads just in time. There you go. Put some smoke there. Move the Vanatori, the Carré. These guys, they can fend for themselves, okay? They got five, uh, what is called, Orita M41. These guys are shooting. There's some machine gun 150 meter range. These guys have only 150, uh, 100 meters, so they won't be shooting. Um, they're, they're only shooting the ZB-24 right now, these dudes. Uh, but the Kazaki will not do a lot of damage uh, to three units like that. So it's just a question of time. Kazaki are being called in now by the masses. Saperi cannot shoot a charge and now dies to the DT Nuti. They've wasted two. Um, they've wasted one more extra... Oh, now they don't have the... There you go. Good play. They don't have the Molotov cocktail now, both of them. So the Osna Sapri coming in. Ooh, will he take... Oh, yeah. He's taking care of both of them. Oh, but he's not shooting because he's too far for that one. How sad that Virion doesn't see that. He could have... Oh, this is too bad. This was a really nice play. Pack 40 over here. Shooting. Misses a lot. But uh, he is putting some suppression, you know, moral to the enemy. The moral is dropping. Lots of troops here. Lots of troops. As he gives in, plus the Panzer IV will kill everything here. Sniper coming in. Oh, no. Oh no, these guys are not so one dies already. Who what killed that? The Panzer IV did. Then the Osnaz gets the 20 mil in the face. 1311. I was gonna say Varen is not winning this, but it is 1311 now, as he has a whole lot more income. IR 81C flying overhead. Once a noob still has the advantage. I mean, this is going to be really hard to get out of here. The TU2 coming in to straight into a lot of AA. This guy is dying. Unless they start shooting at this one. They do. There you go. He survives. This guy gets a 1K bomb in the face. Nope. He's got the mini one, but uh, they're, uh, they're enough to kill him. AC 50 mil. Oof, that's a strange, strange thing to do. Stuka will get pushed back by another Zis 12. Vanatori di Monte is taking position here for a leader. The Kazakis are not winning this engagement ever. Um, okay, I thought he was going to push here. He should, he could. He could, he should, but he's not. Vanatori di Monte coming in for the woods here. There is, there you go, Hemsha dying again, going against tanks. They're not supposed to do that. They're not meant for that.
And there you go. Panzer IV wins the, get, wins the day. TU2 goes alone, dies. Pack 40 almost. Pack 40 will die now. Oh, well, soon. These guys are being targeted uh, uh, as well by the 100 mil. It looks like Viren is not taking care of these artillery. Um, and he should, especially with the 122 mil. Uh, they're good for that. 59 now, two minutes to defeat, and it looks like definitely there is nothing more coming in. Um, this is game. This is game. Once a noob is winning, TU2 coming out alone. Um, like, uh, he's really desperate now. Well, they have been coming alone for most of the game, except for uh, a little bit in the a little bit in the late game, but. Yeah, when you're bringing your bombers alone, they so much chance for them to die. Over here is not so bad. There's only a 75 mil and um, a 20 mil. But still. Alright, uh, there you go. And he surrenders as soon as his M shot died. He's probably frustrated that his M shot kept dying to the Panzer IV. But honestly, like, I mean, this is. Um, this is expected here. TU2 did not do much. Kazaki PPSH did good. TU2 again. They looks like they've got a lot of kills combined. Emsha killed the pack 40. Valentine 9 took care of a Panzer 4. There you go. And a pack 40 as well. We've seen that one. Um and that's it. Oh my lord, that's not a lot. What's the uh 33 to 20? Yeah. That's all he killed. It's it's really not much for for everything that we've seen. You know, how many Panzer IV is there on this list? One, one there, two, only three. All right, three Panzer IV. Right, that's not too bad. This M shot did kill it. Losses. Oh boy. Yeah, losses are astronomical. These snipers from hell. Vanatori di Monte three star. Pioneeri even. Um, the duck took care of three early tank, uh, 75 mil here. Stuka even got some. Again, the Vanatori Cercitari. Oof, oof. It's just a long list. Panzer IV, two star, taking care of these as 12, as we guessed, killed two Amchas and two <laughs> T-34s. Oh god, yeah. You got to use the ATs with this division. 9 Cav isn't a great division and 4 Monte is a great division though. If we want to go into Virion's defense, this was a very very hard game to win. Um Yeah, and he lost it. All right, well, we'll go for game 2 tomorrow, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the video, and goodbye.